broken into overnight. Our Simone Jameson joins us live after speaking with frustrated homeowners who are now left picking up all the pieces. That's right, Meg and Rob. I'm on St. Ledger Place in Evanston where you can see shattered glass on the ground from broken car windows. Cincinnati police say this street was one of at least four that had multiple cars broken into overnight. And homeowners I spoke with are feeling the brunt financially and emotionally. I think probably frustration and annoyance more than even violated. The passenger front window uh, was broken. Everything was on the, the front seat. Amy Shackelford tells us she's lived on St. Ledger Place in Evanston for five years and has never had a problem until this week when her car was broken into. Cincinnati police say Shackelford's car is just one of nearly three dozen cars that were broken into early Wednesday morning. My car was in my driveway. It's really poor timing, I think, you know, from a compassionate perspective, you know, to hit people right before Christmas. Cincinnati police say homeowners on Dixmont Avenue, Fairfax Avenue and Hewitt Avenue reported car break-ins as well, a few blocks away from Shackelford's home. With the way everything is in the world, you know, money's tight and everything else. And, you know, to compound that by, you know, messing with people during the holidays is really sad. Police tell us the ongoing investigation into the car breakings is frustrating as they fight against a national trend plaguing this community and many others. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant John Cunningham says these offenses are occurring sporadically and are not neighborhood specific, making investigations even harder when trying to zero in on a solution. It's just a shame. We hope that whoever did the police catch them and the judge and give them as much time as they possibly can. Juwan Sperling also lives on St. Ledger Street and says he'll be paying more than $500 out of pocket to replace his window that was smashed in the overnight break-ins, but says that pales in comparison to the emotional impact. My son got killed August the 22nd, and earlier this year, I actually got the uh, car for him. Here it is today, I had just destroying it, you know, so that really hurts there. Sperling says he's lived in this neighborhood for more than a decade without issues. Now he's hoping whoever is behind the break-ins will pay for what they've done. May God forgive you. I hope you turn your life around because you're hurting a lot of people and the things, the things that you're doing is very unnecessary. The Cincinnati police tell me they don't have any suspects right now, but as they work to curb cases, they're asking for community members to avoid leaving valuables, especially firearms, in their cars, to lock their car doors, and to contact police about anything that looks suspicious. Live in Evanston, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.